All right, everyone. Just pulled up to this magnificent estate known as the Bella Vista Estate. 17,500 square feet of living space available on Airbnb thanks to Feria Family Resorts. This place is magnificent. It was built by a famous guitar player here in Branson, Missouri named Jim Stafford. Now we're gonna take a walk through this whole place. And if you guys are interested in booking this place, the link is down in the description. I will get into more history right after this. So let's take a look at the Bella Vista. Now I want to give a big shout out to Feria Family Resorts for letting me come stay here. If you guys want to book with them, it is at lake123.com. Uh, they have over 80 plus properties here, lakefront here in Branson that you guys can book. This place is absolutely amazing and this is one of their, their grand homes. They have some places with over 10 bedrooms and this being one of them. Big shout out to them for letting me come out. This place is an incredible place to stay, especially if you have a big group of people. Uh, there's plenty of parking space. There is a four car garage. There is plenty of space out here to park. No shortage of entertainment space. This place is amazing. There's a waterfall inside. There's an indoor pool, hot tub, movie theater. Uh, there's so many beds in there. If you guys want to book this place or any other property by Feria Family Resorts, the link will be down in the description or you can go to lake123.com or go to Airbnb and look up the Bella Vista Estate to book this one specifically. Without further ado, I'm gonna walk you guys around the outside and then we'll go inside and check out the very cool features that this place has. This place is magnificent, it's so beautiful and I'm excited to take you in there. So, let's go and we're also staying the night so we'll see how that goes tonight. And uh, yeah, again, big shout out to Ferry Family Resorts for letting me come out here. Let's walk around the outside now and we'll go inside and we'll check out what this place has to offer. So as you're driving up to this property, you come through these massive gates right here, very intricate gates at that, check out the details that they put into it. This nice iron gate, the nice stone finish going up both sides, nice stone pillars. This place is very well manicured, very nice shrubs coming in. And this area itself is just absolutely gorgeous. The sky is so beautiful this morning. Now guys, while I'm walking down this hill to the house, I wanna mention again, that this place is not abandoned. This place is an Airbnb that I am getting fortunate enough to stay in to film this video. I'm gonna be doing a series of crazy Airbnbs all around the world, houses for sale, and things like that. So if you are an owner of a crazy Airbnb or a crazy house for sale, hit me up, message me on Instagram, 
or you can email me down in the description if you have something in mind that you would like me to film. We're gonna be doing a little series of houses for sale and Airbnbs. And if it works out, we're gonna be going even further than just a little series. Just wanna throw it out there, this place is not abandoned. This is a very beautiful property that is on Airbnb that you can rent yourself. I'm looking at the mansion right now and it's absolutely gorgeous. Walking down the hill, even more, you can see very well manicured landscaping out here by this beautiful Mediterranean Spanish style mansion here. Very pretty, very, very pretty. And look at this stone, it's all on the side right here. This is like a nice little touch to the place. When I actually came out, I thought this was snow for a second. So it looks so cool, but there's like little statues all along this very beautiful place. And then you get a front view of this mansion right here. So it looks like we have a four car garage. And then you have obviously the little canopy to park your car under right there. Plenty of parking space. If you were to have a large group of people book this place. And guys, did I mention that this is on a nine acre property that has a full size tennis court down there and lake access to Table Rock Lake. Now also guys, I wanna throw out there that if you guys have been following me since the Glass Mansion, the Glass Mansion is literally right across the lake over there. <laughs> you can't see it from here, but it's there. So pretty cool that I'm so close to that one too. If you wanna see that video, I'll link that above, but let's finish checking out this outside of this mansion. We're still at the front right now. You can see there's many doors here windows, lots of natural light to come into the house. And again, beautiful landscaping. This place would be great for a wedding. So if you guys are having a wedding here in Branson, this would be the perfect place to book. I want you to take a look at these little intricate details, ornate details at the top of these pillars. Love to see this. Typically see this in older houses, but I love to see people replicate it for houses of this style. And not to mention this insane, beautiful front door right here. Very well detailed. You have the birds, the flowers, the vines, everything of that sort. So we just entered the backyard. This is a big property, like I said. This is your back porch here. Plenty of outdoor furniture for plenty of guests, plenty of people. There's a grill here. You got balconies. This is how you enter your, your uh, indoor pool right there. Um, and then we have the tennis court down there and all this walking trail throughout the property. So we're gonna take a little walk down to the tennis court. What do you guys think of me doing Airbnbs and crazy mansions that are for sale? Because I think that it's a, a big step in, uh, in moving forward and doing other things. Um, obviously, I'm still gonna do abandoned stuff because I just love it, but doing this stuff too, also, like this is one of the most enjoyable things I've done this whole year. And yeah, again, big shout out to Feria Family Resorts for letting me come out here again. But like I said, guys, if you know any Airbnbs that I should reach out to that are pretty crazy like this, um, or houses for sale that are crazy like this, let me know. Email me, message me on Instagram, something like that. But we're walking up to the court right now and I'm pretty excited because there's actually a basketball court here too. There's a camp fireplace, all this beautiful property. And this is just amazing. So yeah, you have a full tennis court here, a little place to, uh, to chill out, have some drinks. Comes fully equipped with your tennis rackets stuff like that. We even have a basketball hoop here. Like, I can only imagine being able to come out outside of my own home and just play basketball or, you know, play tennis or do whatever, or even just go jogging around this little walkway throughout the whole place. 
I'm telling you, if you're ever in Branson, this is the place to stay. I've been to Branson probably a hundred times, and this is my favorite place I've ever stayed at. I'm very, very excited to get to stay overnight here. So I can't wait to uh, see what it's like all by myself. But yeah, at the basketball court, there's another little garage here, which I think that's probably more for the landscaping stuff. And you have the beautiful lake right behind these trees here. You guys can see there is a trail that is paved. It's a pavement trail going all the way through the property. Beautiful landscaping. You got all these beautiful trees out here too. We're gonna take a little turn right down here to see your little campfire area. They have plenty of chairs if you uh, have a big group of people. All the wood is already provided. Now I also wanted to mention something about Branson, Missouri. Branson, Missouri is a very touristy town. If you've never been here and you uh, are looking for a cool place to come and bring your family, I recommend Branson, highly recommend Branson. There's so much to do. You got Ripley's, believe it or not. You have Wonder Works. You have the, the Hollywood Ma Wax Museum. You have so many other shows that goes on here, magic shows, uh, Dolly Parton shows, country music shows, things like that. Very good place to come and bring your family. Mini golf courses everywhere. I love Branson. It was one of the first places my grandparents ever brought me and I've kind of been in love with the place ever since. Let's go back up and check out the rest of the inside of the mansion. So let's go up, let's see what's inside. Let's see what this place has to offer. Oh my goodness. Wow. As you can see, we have a marvelous grand staircase here. Spirals up there with the incredible woodwork. Looks like a parrot sitting right on top here. Very, very intricate and very well done all the way down. And since it is the holidays, they do have this place decorated for Christmas, but this like I said, guys, is your grand foyer of this beautiful mansion. Check it out. The very high ceilings. I want to say that's uh, 30 foot ceilings in here. But not only do you have this beautiful waterfall here, you can see the Christmas decorations throughout. Beautiful waterfall. Check out, they got the, the shells in the wall. And this is part of the staircase all right here. The water dripping down. Gives it a very, very nice feel. But then right on the other side is a pond. So this pond has like a little stream going through it, as you can see. And you can just hear the water sounds and it sounds so beautiful and so comforting, honestly. This is what you see when you just first walk into the place. You can see the nice recessed lighting up in there. There's like a lip above the whole thing that has a little bit of lighting under that too. Staircase going all the way up is this beautiful ironwork. Love to see stuff like that. The stone walls, the stone right here, leading into your dining room, your living room, your kitchen back there. You have some bedrooms down this way along with the pool, movie theater room. You have your master suite down this way and your whole backyard. We're gonna go straight over here to our right and check out the dining room, the formal dining room here. So look at this. You have this very long table here with 10 seats right here. Very beautiful. And check out the chandelier that hangs right above. Love to see things like this. Chandeliers are very, very well thought out and they're very beautiful. And this one in particular is very large and brings this place to life with this table right here. So you have plenty of space to have plenty of guests here and it's very luxurious. This nice marble flooring and this table with 
obviously Christmas decorations because it is the holidays right now. So check it out. Not only that, huge mirror right here to really bring this place together. The beautiful furniture. I mean, there's no lack of luxury at this mansion. Everything kind of flows into each other, which is very great. Love the pillars that go throughout. And this is like stone, real stone. And these are all in the kitchen and in here and the arches that come all through the hallway right here. So I'm gonna take you straight away, right down this hall to the main living room here. Now check this out. You have a very large couch. You could put this together, but they have it sectioned off into two. This couch can fit probably 20 people on it. It's a very large couch. Very, very beautiful fireplace. All stone going up. You got the TV. They do have Wi-Fi. They have Netflix. They have um, cable, streaming, all that stuff. If you definitely want to just sit here and chill with the family and watch some TV, you can. But there is a theater room down that way. So, but this one, you definitely get a little bit better view of outside. You can see the lake and everything like that. I want to mention that there's beautiful hardwood flooring throughout the whole place. And this fireplace is actually quite large and it looks like it's a gas fireplace. They got it all decked out for Christmas, which is very nice to see. You can see the Christmas tree right over here. And you guys, from this vantage point, you can see the lake out there. Beautiful Table Rock Lake. Very, very open space. I love the coffered ceiling throughout this place. And check out right above me, there's like this, uh, it's like mural right here. And there's like lighting that goes all the way around it. Which gives it like a little accent. You have this big open space right here with these archways that go into the kitchen, which we're gonna take a look at right now. Again, with these pillars, beautiful, beautiful stone pillars in here. The island of this kitchen, that's one of the biggest things I'm noticing is how big everything is. This island is huge. You have four seats right here, but if this uh, didn't have drawers and stuff, you could fit way more here. This, this island is massive. It's uh, got this beautiful granite on top. And check this out. Check out the lighting right above. Wow. Super detailed with, the, with the, the crops and everything like that. The woodwork, it's beautiful. Even how it hangs. It's just gorgeous. All the decor in here matches the place perfectly. You have another little dining space right here. Um, all your doors that lead to the back porch and the trail that goes down to the tennis court there. This place has two sub-zero fridges, very large fridges to be exact. Look at that. That's your freezer and this is your refrigerator right here. Also, if you're wanting to cook, they have everything that you would need. They have the knives, they have the pots, the pans, everything that you would need to cook if you want to cook out here. Along with a six burner stove here, electric stove. Again, you have all your, your cooking needs, everything like that. They even have a little fondue machine. It is out of use right now, but I'm sure when they get that fixed, that it will be good to go. Check it out. Beautiful sink. I've got my stuff charging right in here. Everything that you would need necessary. They even have all the spices that you would need if you're cooking. Along with two Viking ovens right here. If you know, Viking ovens are very, very nice, very luxurious stuff, professional type things. The kitchen itself is just gorgeous. And the way it runs into everything just brings this place together so well. I love all the decorations they have in here too. Really gives this place a very cozy vibe, you know.
And you know, typically I would, I would probably be scared to stay in a house of such size alone. But this doesn't really, this doesn't really give me that feel because it's so cozy in here. It's so like warming and so welcoming that it's just um, like, I feel so comfortable being here. So it looks like back here, I'm gonna flip on the light. This is another little dining area. And they even have like a children's uh, high chair right here. Still got some of the Thanksgiving things and some Christmas decorations. This place just has it all. That's three dining rooms that this place has so far. There could be more. I haven't seen the whole place yet. But we're gonna look around. You're gonna see a lot of things newly just like I have. Love this little dining room. Not to mention they have other little freezers. This is for like your wine and stuff like this. Trash cans everything like that. And there's even a little pantry back here. But this has all of your stuff that you would need. Salt, pepper, um, ice maker, griddle, cooking stuff, first aid kits, all that, all that kind of stuff is up in here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go down this hallway to the master suite. Now the master suite is definitely where I'm sleeping tonight, but there's two master suites. There's one on the first floor and there's one on the second floor. There's also bedrooms in the basement where the game room is, and that has a lot more beds, like bunk beds, where you could sleep uh, probably the kids or um, if you have just a large group. It's, it's better to have a lot of beds in here. I wanna mention something about this place. This is actually an elevator, but they have it um, closed off at the moment. Through these doors right here, these beautiful, like it looks like it's painted like a silverish gold color. But through these doors goes down to the master suite, which we're gonna go down in just a second. But first, we have this little bathroom here, our first bathroom of the house. And you can see it's gorgeous. Here we come down the hall. You have all your switches for your lightings, so your overhead lighting, your accent lighting, which is in this lip right here, which this is all through the house, this little accent lighting, which is really cool. You have nice furniture going throughout, makes it really cozy in here. And we're gonna go straight away to the master suite. So this is the master suite. The bed is a king size bed, very comfortable too. I already kind of like tested it out a little bit, you know, <laughs> I had to. But very, very comfortable bed, king size bed at that. This is where my stuff is, you can see my suitcase, my guitar, my camera bag. You have a TV in here with cable and everything. You can watch TV, you can stream everything like that. You have your own fireplace, and this fireplace is gorgeous. Look at the, the granite right behind it. Check it out. This is the master suite. Very, very, very nice. And not only that, you do have a balcony right here. So let's take a look. Let's come out onto the balcony. This is at the back side of the house. Get a view of the lake out there near a little walking trail. And there's actually a deer right on the back porch there. I don't know if you guys can see that. While you're staying here, you might have a little bit of uh, company from some furry friends outside. And then we come right in here to our closet. And this is one of the two master closets that are in this house. This one, obviously there's no clothes in here. This is an Airbnb. But if you do plan on staying here for a certain amount of time you could have all your clothes hanging up or if you're doing like i said a wedding before you could have all your stuff ready to go hanging up there now here's something really amazing check out this master bathroom wow very very modern feeling check out the mirrors here with the uh with like the floating vanity so it's like into the wall and it's just, it's not touching the ground or anything. So it's like this really modern, really cool feel you have in here. I love this gray tiling that goes throughout the place. Very amazing. And I think these actually open up so you could put your, uh, your toothpaste and all that stuff in there. Here's your shower. And I want to say they do provide everything that you need. So they do provide Shampoo, conditioner, shower gel. You have an amazing rainfall shower head right here. And you have the option to use the wand. Beautiful tub with a view of the lake from the tub. Here's your toilet and your bidet. It feels just luxurious. It's very nice.
Now it's time to head on to the really, really good stuff. We're gonna head on to the other side of the house, go down the hallway, check out the indoor pool, um, the hot tub, the movie theater room, everything like that. I'm so excited to show you guys. So you come down this long hallway and we're gonna go to our left here. And then we have, this is our bedroom. It is also a king size bed. No shortage of big beds in this house. That's just one of the other bedrooms. Here's another bedroom right across the hall. And it, again, king size. The lights are kind of dimmed. But yes, we have another king size bed with a TV, streaming, everything like that. This is another access to outside. I just have to say, you guys would not regret booking this place. This place is amazing. So we're gonna keep coming down. And if you do feel like you need to wash anything or want to wash anything, you have this room right here, which is your laundry room, which this is one of two. There's two laundry rooms in this house. There's one upstairs too. Also have their own pods here that you can use. They provide a lot of things for you at this place. This little area actually goes to the garage and this just leads to one of the two garages right here. We're gonna go to our right. And we really, 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 I really wanna highlight this pool for you guys. So take a look at it. We're gonna go right through this door. It might be a little loud because they have the fan going in here, but check it out. have this amazing indoor pool. Also, not only just that, you have a bar here, you have more seating, you have these games you can play. You can play, uh, what is this game called? I forget. <laughs> but you have the other thing over there. See, I'm not that good at it. But check it out, pool itself is very amazing. Sorry if it's so loud in here, guys. It's just the fan is going uh, to keep the humidity under control but check it out. The lights actually turn on in the pool. So at nighttime, you'll be able to see all these lights going on in the pool. It's a big pool. I think it starts out at like three feet and goes all the way to six feet down here at the deepest. There's a waterfall coming out of the hot tub. Very amazing. The hot tub is also jetted. You could turn the jets on in the hot tub. Um, very beautiful. And check out this, there's skylights, which you guys probably saw in the drone footage. Skylights that you can see, you get all this natural light coming into this pool. This is amazing. But not only that, you have this little area right here. We have a speaker, so you can hook up a speaker and play music while you're in here, chilling with your family or chilling with your friends, where you're swimming, listening to music, chilling in the hot tub or whatever. And they made this place really, really cool with, with this awning right here and the light blue colors, and check it out. You also have a ping pong table. They have everything provided right there with the ping pong balls and the paddles. And not only that, you have a full functional sauna. So right in there, you can sit in there and get your sweat on. Very cool to see saunas in places. This place altogether is made for entertainment. No shortage of entertainment space in this whole house. That is the pool. I am like so in love with it. And check out the mural they have right behind there with the palm trees and the mountains. They have all the greenery throughout the place in here. And I just love it. This pool is absolutely amazing. So we just checked out the pool. Now, when you leave the pool area, which is right here, you go right across the hall into the movie theater. So let's check it out. So when we come into the movie theater room of the mansion, we check out here, we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five luxurious recliners right here with the projector. This place really feels like a little mini movie theater. It's so cool. Now we have to test out one of these seats real quick. Oh, wow, that is amazing. So with this, we have a light. So you could have lights in here. We have this, it's literally just a touch and you can recline yourself and watch your movie. Now, also I wanna point out, 
that they have surround sound in this house. Let's put this bag down and let's check out what's in there, which is also your controls. And they have all of these movie choices, Ice Age, um, Bring It On, plenty of kids movies, plenty of adult movies. You have anything you wanna watch in here. Um, you could also do streaming, you could do YouTube, you could do any of that on this screen. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the lights off. Let's see how they kind of slowly turn off, kind of like they do in the movie theaters. They did that very smart. And now you can see that it's an Android TV and when it gets loaded up, we can go ahead and we can click on the YouTube button and it takes us right to YouTube. We have all of my videos right here. Look at this one, guys. You guys remember this video? of the glass mansion right across the lake right over there. I could imagine having one of these in, in my house. This is amazing. Oh, I would love to have one. One day, one day I will. Speaking it into existence, one day I will have one of these. If we keep walking down this way out of the movie theater, we have the men's restroom right here, which is obviously a little more blue, sharks, things like that. And then obviously when, where there's a men's restroom, there's a women's restroom. So right here, into the women's restroom. And it's kind of the same deal, same setup as over there. So all of this entertainment space is all kind of running together right here. Pool, sauna, bathrooms, movie theater, and things like that. So now that we've checked out all of downstairs on the first level, let's go upstairs and let's see what's up there and what's, what we have to offer up there. Now I believe it's just bedrooms, but I haven't really been up there yet, so let's go check it out. Beautiful staircase going all the way up. So now that we're upstairs, you have a running carpet. It goes all the way along this. And we're gonna take a look at what we see. You can really see how open this place is. It's so open. Such a great feeling out here. View of the waterfall, the pond, the dining room. Now guys, remember, there is a game room in the basement with way more beds. So we still have that to check out after we check out this upstairs. We're gonna come down here and it looks like we have another bedroom with another king size bed. Very nice. This looks so cozy and so comfortable. <laughs> like I totally wish that I could just live here for a while. Like that would be so nice. Other people need to enjoy this. Very, very beautiful bedrooms. All of them have been great so far. And this one has its own bathroom. So check it out. It's even got its own tub and everything. Very nice tub. I love these tubs. These tubs look so nice. It has the nice shower here. Again, equipped with everything you need. They have a walk-in closet. You can see very, very nice walk-in closet for this bedroom. Marble countertops on this sink right here. Very beautiful stuff. But then we're gonna go again across the hall and we're gonna see another room right here with a king size bed, a nice TV, everything you could need in, in a house. And this feels like a master bedroom in any regular house, but this is not the master. This is just a guest suite right here. I'm not too sure how, how long people are typically booking a place like this for, but if you did book it for a longer period of time, like say two weeks or something like that, you would really have a lot of space to store your clothes and everything to make it feel like a home for that two weeks that you're here. All right, so same kind of deal. We're walking through a door right here and we get to these beautiful doors, as you can tell. Beautiful, like golden, silverish uh, double doors that we walk through. Definitely higher ceilings, even a little bar for this bedroom. That's why I believe this one is the main master suite because it is also has a very amazing bathroom, which I'm gonna show you guys right now. So check out this shower. Same kind of deal, big shower head, big area to sit down right there. But check out this tub. This tub is like a giant metal tub. I don't even know what kind of material this is, but this, this is a huge tub. You could fit four of me in here. And I'm big, I'm six foot seven. Very nice bathroom though, high ceilings. And then take a look at back here. You have a little massage area in the house. So if you wanted to lay back and have, say your, your wife, your sibling, whatever, say rub my back, pop my back, whatever, you could do it right here. I've never seen one of these inside of a house, so that's really cool. 
We're gonna go right across the hall, straight into the master closet, which this one is definitely bigger. Check that out. The nice wood granite countertop on the island inside of the closet. So you, this is where people typically store like their watches, jewelry, socks, things like that. Plenty of space to hang coats, jackets, dress clothes, shoes, everything like that if you plan on staying here for a long time. You got the mirror for when you get ready, obviously. Not wasting any time, let's get right into this master bedroom. So take a look at it. You got the big bed here. Looks so comfortable, so cozy too. They have like the fish, lamps here to give this place a really lake vibe because it is on a lake. But check out the stone fireplace, guys. With the TV, with the surround sound, very beautiful, very amazing feeling this place has. Fireplace, if you wanna use that, obviously it's got a balcony. And this one I believe is the highest balcony. So we can really take a look at that lake. Look at the deer. <laughs> That's so cool. I don't know if they can see me or not. But this is your main primary suite right here. Gotta love it. It's got the hardwood floors. It's so spacious in here. It's just, it's just incredible, guys. What people can, can design and what people can come up with. And this furniture looks very comfortable and cozy. I don't think you would have any problem falling asleep very quickly here. Anyways guys, now it's time to go back downstairs and head to the basement. Before we head downstairs, I have to show you, this is how you turn on the, um, the pond and the waterfall. So you have an option for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, two hours or four hours. So we're gonna bump that up to 60 minutes. You have all your lighting switches right here, hallway lights, step lights, overhead lights, things like that. So we're gonna go downstairs to the basement now and check out the game room and the other things down here. First thing to my left is a bedroom. Check it out, two beds in here. So that makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beds so far. And there's definitely more. Feels like a whole nother house down here. Look at this, another bedroom. So here's nine beds so far. This one's a queen size bed. You have access to go outside to the backyard. TV hanging in here, very beautiful furniture. You have this bathroom, which it looks like it's a shared bathroom because um, it goes right into the hallway there. But this is a beautiful cozy bedroom with the, with the teal blue and the farm style bed frame and everything. But we have to just keep walking through. We have to keep seeing what, what we got in here. Come back into this room and check it out. This is where we got a lot of beds. <laughs> so we got four beds up here and these are four queen size bunk beds right here okay so we got you know two beds on each side the ladder to go up the tv access to outside beautiful blue carpet they have everything kind of color matching in every room which is very nice to see but these beds look so comfy themselves so what do we have we have 9 10 11 12 13 beds so far and there's still more so <laughs> i think it's like a one block walk down to get to the lake and have lake access which is very, very amazing and very convenient uh, when you're coming out to Branson because this lake is one of the most beautiful lakes ever, uh, Table Rock Lake. If you haven't been out here, you need to come check it out. If you do ever decide to come to Branson, definitely come to this place at lake123.com or Airbnb. So, so we come down here and this is where we enter into the game room. So in the game room, we've got a pop shot, basketball game. We have foosball, we have pool, you have your radio, you can listen to music. Very nice decor. And here's your secondary washroom. And this one actually has three uh, washers and dryers, which is very cool. And a little fridge right here to store more stuff. You have other games that you could also play like Connect Four, 
tic-tac-toe, other games down in there. Shuffleboard, love playing shuffleboard. This table is probably more for playing like the board games, which there are board games in this house. So if you do want to play board games, you can come bring them right here and play board games with your family or your friends. And not to mention a nice entertainment area right here with the TV, the game room sign. I mean, they made this place very, very amazing and very, very cozy. And we get to stay here by ourselves all night tonight, which is amazing. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with myself. <laughs> like, it's just incredible. So yeah, if you guys like playing foosball, basketball, we gotta see if I can make a shot, which we'll probably try a little bit more tonight. Let's see you guys, one-handed. Money. But it looks like we have another room right back here. I think this is another bunk bed bedroom. So let's check it out. And we have another four beds. So that's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 beds so far. So you're hosting a big group of people. And like I said, these are queen size beds, so they fit two people each. So you could definitely fit a lot of people in this house if you're having groups and stuff like that. But always be respectful to the place because this is an Airbnb, it's a rental, and people own this and they want it to be taken care of. Spared no expense in making this place absolutely incredible. We just did a whole walkthrough through the entire mansion. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come back at night and I'm gonna go out and do stuff today, and just kinda hang out. And then tonight, I will film a little bit more and then we'll get up in the morning and we'll see what it's like and that'll be the end of the video. Again, shout out to Faria Family Resorts for letting me come stay here. That is F-A-R-I-A -A, Family Resorts here in Branson, Missouri, over 80 luxurious properties, lakefront properties at that, that you could book here in Branson when you come stay with your family. I definitely recommend any of them. They're all amazing, especially the Bella Vista state that we're in right now. I'll see you guys tonight. Hope you guys are enjoying this tour of this mansion. And like I said, if you have any other recommendations of Airbnbs or crazy mansions for sale, hit me up and I will come film them. I'll see you guys tonight. All right guys, fast forward to nighttime. Now we're gonna be walking around the mansion all alone at night. I have this place all to myself tonight, like you guys know. I'm super excited to show you everything and have fun around this place and really get to enjoy it a little bit. Special thanks to Ferry Resorts for letting me stay here tonight and film this awesome video for you guys. Now, now that it's nighttime and we've seen everything during the day, Let's check it out at night. Let's see what this place has to offer and let's have a little bit of fun. And if you guys enjoy this video and you wanna book this place, down in the description will be the link on Airbnb. Check this place out, it's amazing. All right, so coming down the hallway now, about to go into the movie theater. I have never been really in a movie theater and in a house before. Um, so this is pretty new to me, but yeah, coming down the hallway, let's go watch a movie real quick. And by the looks of it, it looks like we have five seats to choose from in here. But since it's just me, I'm gonna have to go ahead and sit front row. So I had to turn the lights on real quick because I just wanted to say, um, I'm watching YouTube on the TV right now in the movie theater room of this mansion. <clears throat> and I'm actually watching the exploring an $80 million glass mansion with everything left inside from two years ago. A lot of you guys that are subscribed to the channel are subscribed from that video. And crazy enough, that house from that video is just right across the lake. So it's really cool that I get to come back to this lake and film another property like this. I'm gonna finish watching this video, maybe watch a couple more things. So we got the first bedroom, this is on the first floor. King size bed, and it's feeling pretty cozy in here. We got a TV, let's check the bed, let's see if it's comfortable. Oh, yeah, yeah, very comfortable. Very much so. But, this is not the master. We have to go check out the rest and see which one might be more comfortable. So we come directly across the hall, and we have bedroom number two. Same thing, bed feels just like the other one, not bad. I have a really good feeling we're gonna be sleeping in the master suite. You have to check all the beds, you never know. You never know. Even though I've already sat on this bed, 
Got to do it one more time. And this bed, guys, this bed is so comfortable. This is like memory foam, king size bed, and so easy to just sit down, play guitar. Yeah, I'm a little rusty on this. Yeah. Really nice place to just sit down and relax this room. And this is one of the two master suites. There's another master suite upstairs that you guys saw in the daytime, but we have to go do a bed check because I've not been up there to really check it out and sit on it and everything like this. But this one will probably be the bed we sleep in tonight. There's also like six bunk beds downstairs. And who knows, they might be even more comfortable than this. Might as well go check them out. This is bed number one. You know, it feels a lot like those beds from upstairs from the other rooms. So what does that make us so far? That makes four beds. Bed number five right here. This one is actually a little more memory foam. I don't know if you guys can can tell, but this one actually sinks in a little more like memory foam. This one's a little bit more comfortable. But then we have another bedroom right here with the king size bed, and we have this room right here. So let's check these out too. One thing I can confidently say about the place is that if you have a large group, you will have no problem finding a place to sleep. One, two, three, four beds right here, and these are very large bunk beds, as you can tell. Which one do you sleep on? I could sleep on this one. I could sleep on this one. I could sleep on this one. Or this one. Fact of the matter is, there's four beds in here to choose from if you have a big group. Entering this bedroom, this one is more of a queen size. So this is a queen size bed right here. Very comfortable, very, very comfortable. So many rooms with so many different little features in them. Let's go to the game room. It's just right there. Let's play some games and let's hang out for a bit. I can already see it now. A pool table, foosball table, and this pop shot basketball hoop. I mean, this is like, this is like a dream. Ooh. I mean, this is like a dream. Nope. <laughs> Guys, obviously I am not doing that well with the basketball. Has anybody ever played foosball by themselves? Like a solo game of foosball? We could just make a little goal. I'm using both sticks right now. Anyways. That's enough of the games. I'm obviously not doing very good at either game by myself. There's actually an entertainment section right behind the camera, which I'm gonna turn around and show you right. So, now that we're in the little entertainment section, this couch looks very comfy. We got TV remotes. We got a big flat screen TV right here where you can watch TV. You can, uh, you can hang out with your friends. You can hang out with your family, whoever you have when you book this place. And yeah, this is a little, your little get together, little uh, entertainment section of the game room down here in the basement of this mega mansion here in Branson, Missouri. We have to see these beds right here. I mean, they got the red, feels very comfy to me. They all feel the same. Who wouldn't want to rent this place? This place is amazing. Like, especially if you have a very large group, like so far that's what, like that's four beds, eight beds, nine beds, 10, 11, 12. I mean, like we have so many beds in this place that you could host huge things going on here. Most likely I would say weddings because this place is absolutely gorgeous on this beautiful lake out here, Table Rock Lake. It's getting kind of late guys. And I think I know the bed that I want to lay in and get a good night's rest. So let's head back to the room and let's get some shut eye. And then we'll see you guys in the morning. I don't think I've ever slept in a bed this nice. I'm gonna lay down. Probably gonna strum on the guitar just a little bit. I'm gonna turn the lights off. I'm gonna hit the hay. Hope you guys have enjoyed this tour of this amazing property here in Branson, Missouri. Thank you again to Ferrier Resorts for letting me come out here and film this beautiful place. Good night, guys. Big Banks. Sleep. <laughs>